You see, in life, you do not need anyone's permission or validation to become whatever you want in life. You don't. If you're going to let low self-esteem, lack of confidence, a lack of self-belief pull you down, you're going to wake up 50 years old and you'll be regretting why you wasted your time. And chances are you'll be so bitter at those who use that time wisely. Think about that. You do not need anyone's permission to become whatever you want. Think about that. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me again, Jessica Mulefe Wahazola Mobutwana. It's me. It's, <laughs> it's me again with yet another video. Today, you're just going to technically spend a day with me getting to see what I do behind the scenes when preparing for a YouTube video. And then I'm going to eventually um, make one, make a YouTube video about um i don't know at first i had thought i wanted to talk about how i started jesse's makeup but i decided you know what i'll save that for another video today i'm going to talk about um how can i put it experiencing a toxic client if i may say or my fair share of coming across a toxic client that's what's what what that is what I'm going to talk about today. That is what I'm going to talk about today. So keep watching the video. I hope you will enjoy it. Above everything else, get to see how I um, did this makeup look because I'm I'm now starting to get comfortable talking and doing my makeup at the same time. It's quite um, therapeutic. So. Um, stay tuned, but before you go any further, before you go any further, I'd love to thank everyone who watched my previous video. You guys, your comments, they were heartwarming. Body Neo, Bo Abigail, the list is endless. I'm probably going to list their names here if I'm not lazy to do so. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. It means a lot when you guys watch my videos. It means I'm doing something. It means I'm entertaining someone. So thank you once again. And if you are new to the family, welcome, welcome to my channel once again. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. It means quite a lot. Tell a friend and that friend will tell a friend about Jessica Mulefer's YouTube channel. So continue following me on Instagram, continue subscribing, telling anyone, everyone about what is going on here. Do not forget, like I said, to follow me on Instagram. Like always, I am going to leave my Instagram handle down below here and also on the description box. Do you think I should do a meet and greet? I don't know. I'll think about it. Continue watching the video. Good morning. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Jessica. Um, the time is, I think, is it 10 or 11? I don't know. I'll write it down somewhere here. So today, I, I, I don't know what I want to do, but it's much kind of like um, a behind the scenes of me when I prepare for my... Um, uh, YouTubing to do a video. It's like a behind the scenes type of vibe. Spend a day with me and uh, let's chit chat, you know, nothing hefty, but I'm recording, you know. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I want to do today. So first thing first, I need to take a shower and then we give Derella, my husband and my daughter breakfast. Um, and then I wanted to go to the shops and get a little um, top. Yeah, I want to get a top because I feel like 
taking it into makeup means i've been on social media tataka so now i just want something new and, and and fresh for for the video if you know what i'm talking about so afterwards i need to clean up my studio because because um what i normally do is um let me show you so i just have one light on for now for the purpose of this little short video so it's 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 kind of like messed up but not entirely um because yesterday yesterday i was um busy washing this um hair it's what i'm going to use today so i wanted to um use um, a, a short i wanted to use your young character i wanted to use um a short uh wig for the kind of look that i wanted to do i don't even have any look whatsoever in mind so so i need to clean this up and um switch on my lighting i had already done set up yeah the the camera and the lighting so 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 on the guy already um set up my makeup as well go to get me the same courtesy of sophia i know she was the one doing this you know if there's one thing i don't say about lack of sequela is that I have a naughty child who does not listen. So, so I've, I've already set up um, uh, the, the makeup that I wanted wanted to use for today. Gahagi, just my skincare and stuff like that. So, nothing hefty really. Ganagirle, I wanted to also do an unboxing. I'm probably going to talk about what I've ordered from Amazon. Um, later during the day, I need to wash these two wigs. I need to wash these two wigs and style them up when i don't know so my my studio is a bit of a mess right now but um uh, we'll get to fix that so like i said i really don't know what um i want to talk about today i'm not sure i'm not sure um, that. sorry <laughs> what i wanted to do is not working so i'm not sure about what i wanted to, to talk about today but this is just going to be a very extremely random video, but yet informative, you know. So, yeah. So, first thing first, I want to take a shower and then do breakfast or eat first and then shower tomorrow. Either, either of the two. So, stay tuned. Okay, I am done bathing and all of those things. So, I'm going to um, buy a few things. But most importantly, I need a top for the YouTube video that I'll be doing inside the studio. So, come along. Hi, we just passed by uh, the mine hospital. My husband is actually here to come and collect um, his electronic vaccination card. I hope you know about that. I hope you're vaccinated. I'm waiting for mine. So I'm with the princess, Sophia. Hi, guys. Mm. Okay, so it looks something like that. Um, it's very big. I was expecting something really small. Yeah, no, I guess we're to go to the I don't know. But yeah, it looks something like that. Yeah.
I can't find what I think I want because I I can only see formal stuff. I can only see formal stuff. It's a winter. I don't mind buying them. I wanted something for for you for YouTube today. Nothing really hefty, hefty. I don't know what I should get. How sorry you want to see Bella? This is a cat. Mama. Ma. It's not our car, Sophia. It looks like our car. So I'm going to try legit. Okay, I'm looking for something very subtle. Not subtle. I don't want some uh, something too colorful. I love your toned down colors, your your beige, uh, soft pink. Um, if, if possible, I want something white because i don't want overpowering colors um in my channel so i'll see what they have over here i'm tempted to go for this one it's like a square shaped sleeve not sure and the price is quite reasonable so i think i'll settle for these two tops it's an off-white and uh, a pedi white top with broad shoulders i don't know what it, what the sleeve is called but this is what i'll settle for the deal is that i don't want overpowering colors every time i am recording i just want white hi i'm back i'm back home um yes yeah, so i'm just going to do a mini cleanup of this house and then not not the house the studio and then um Becky is my background fine. Have a super duty. Anyways, so I'm going to do a mini cleanup and then Becky switch on the, 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 the lights and get prepared to do a, a, a YouTube video. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but I was actually thinking of telling you a story of how I started Jesse's makeup. Yeah. How I started Jesse's makeup and how I became to be the person that I am today. So stay tuned. I'm done cleaning and um, what I'm going to do now I don't know if I should do this now or some other time but let me just quickly get it out of the way I'm going to show you my um, it's just an unboxing a short one of the things that I bought over on um, Amazon and a few things from Beach Cosmetics so after this I'm going to 
change up um, wear one of the tops and then come and uh, do my makeup so let me show you what I what my delivery consisted of so this was the the package it's it's quite a a big box it's quite a big box so um i had bought a few things like i said from beach cosmetics um i didn't have much because my main focus was my nail um, equipment the things that i needed for the studio i really know that um i just recently included um, manicure and pedicure as part of my services so it's not just makeup i'm also doing nails massages facials pedicure manicure so i mean why why would i buy a lot of these things and then just not include a little bit of makeup so i got this palette i had long wanted this palette for the longest time take me back to brazil by beach cosmetics there it is um and i also got eyelashes they look too dramatic for me but i don't know i'm probably gonna try them out today still and then you can never say no to brushes you can never have enough brushes so this, this these are one of my favorite um collections by uh beach cosmetics it's called the rose gold the rose gold um brush set i love it i love it all, all they, there's just one particular brush that i feel every brush set should have it's a spoolie um combined with um uh, what do you call this an angled brush is it an angle yeah an angled brush so it's a it's a it's a 13 piece brush set i cannot wait to use it i'm probably going to use it um in this video when i do my makeup and then i also got um, a base booster this one is specifically for my shimmer eyeshadows glitters and whatnot i had another one but it was about to 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 hit rock bottom so i had to buy another one before it finished so that's the one i also got an electronic um toothbrush i don't know why i got it but it's a whitening i don't know whitening toothbrush but yeah i just got it for fun and then i'm so lazy to open these things this is a drill beat organizer uh let me just open a few of them and then i'll show you all right i had to open those off camera because can i I'm, I'm holding the camera with one hand and trying to show you guys at the same time so this is what i had bought this is apparently a dust nail dust extractor so what happens is that when the nail tech fouls your nails all of the dust is sucked into this little machine i like the fact that it's rechargeable I don't need electricity for this. Yeah, especially more Lina Konzadi, what do you call this? Load shading. It, it can be a bit um, something else when you want to do your nails. And then I also bought this um, drill machine for filing. I agree, you know, that these days we don't really get to use the manual file. This is what we use for. For the nails um let me try to show you here i'm using one hand by the way i just need to something like that oh okay and these are the beads that we use alongside with the the drill um there's another one here so um and also um this is apparently a drill bit holder you just open it up and then you slot these beads right into this organizer so i i bought two of of each because my plan is that i have two nail technicians until further notice so if you haven't done your nails with just this makeup please do the right thing and we have um a special we have a, a a little special um running it's going to end 30th of april so this is my little unboxing and we are done now the first thing that i need to do is um uh, style the week i need to iron it um, and then install it and then change and then change uh -huh. 
<clears throat> you see, just to prepare for content, it takes a while. You just need a full day of absolutely focusing on cleaning up, setting up, dressing up. I mean, hair can take um, quite a while to, to, to do, especially with the installation side of things. Because I like to install my wigs when they are freshly washed. So, yeah. So, I'm going to install this wig. And then we will take it from there. Um, I'm done with my wig cap. Now, I am going to move into styling the wig. Can I buy you? Like always. You made this number to buy me. I did melon. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello guys. Yeah. So for you who are new to my channel, this is my husband and that is my daughter. So can I get to my hair? Karati. All right, my hair. Is done and um, damn my head is itchy my head is done <laughs> cut all right my hair is done and um, I did my eyebrows off camera so I really don't know what I want to do today because the, the the plan was that I wanted to come over here and talk about how I started my business. I don't know if this will tickle your fancy, but yeah. But I'm, I want to change. I want I, I want I want to change what I what I wanted to come and talk about over here and talk about my fair share of experiencing or coming across a toxic client Oof. I'm working on eggshells on this one because probably the person follows me <laughs> probably the person follows me and um, I'm just gonna share the story so <laughs> It's scary. It's scary, but I'm just gonna share the story though. So um, today uh, I'll be using the it's my pleasure eyeshadow palette by Colourpop. It's a very gorgeous purple um, Shades eyeshadow palette with purple shades. Look at that Look at that Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't 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 she lovely? So This is the eyeshadow palette. I'll be using for today um, just this one just one if, if, if I happen to mix um, a few colors um, bear with me look art has no rules art has no rules but I'll just do whatever comes to my mind I don't know what I want to do I really don't know but let's start okay the first thing that I'm going to do like always, I'm going to try to get this hair. But I'm not. It's, um, it's, I'm going to try to. I'm getting this hair out of the way because uh, I don't want it disturbing me when I get to do my foundation, especially. Perfect, perfect. And like always, the P. Louise eyeshadow base is what I'll be using now. As my eyeshadow base it's in the color number three just in case you don't know what I'm talking about this is it um, yeah I guess it's safe for me to start so this one particular day <laughs> I happen to get a call from this client let's call this client um, Let's call this client Maseho. Maseho is not her real name, by the way. Let's call this client Maseho. 
So Masoho calls me, and by the way, I, I did not know Masoho when she was calling, and this was on my business line asking for a booking. Sharp, sharp. So the day comes um, of, of um, her application, the, the, the day finally comes for, for me to come and do her makeup. Rather, it was her coming over to my studio. So the thing is, I do not stay um, in, I don't, I don't stay in Khaburoni. I stay in Khaburoni. No, <laughs> I stay in Johnny. Sorry about that. Um, my, my head is thinking about a lot of things. I don't stay in Khaburoni. I stay in Johnny. Like, right now as i speak i'm in joining so i know um, a lot of you are quite confused about the setup you think it's in khaburoni it, it, it's, it's almost like a replica a copy of what is in khaburoni but this is um actually my personal space like my office my playground this is where i get to play doll up and uh, make up um right here in my house mujwani so it's it's not my studio it's not my cabrone studio it's my personal studio you got that right and you got that so this um where did i put this particular client uh finally comes to my makeup studio which is my official office in cabrone and um like i said i don't i don't stay in cabrone um i stay in joining so there are some days where i'm in cabrone there are some days where i'm in joining perfect so this particular day i was actually coming from Khaburoni to attend to hair um by the way I'm, I'm i'm using the brush set that i spoke about earlier um the rose gold brush set by beach cosmetics look at that lovely lovely i love it so <laughs> i'm so distracted so like i was saying this this client um finally comes to the office to my studio for hair makeup application appointment sad thing is um like i said i was coming from joining it was a thursday i was coming from joining and uh i was kind of like running late because here's the thing again i used to have a car and then i got into a car accident um and i lost my car it was a write-off so I've been using my husband's car. We've been sharing a car. So in this particular day, I was actually waiting for my husband to knock off. Um, he was on, on, on night shift that day. So you can imagine um, coming from work in the morning, I had to wait for him and then uh, go to Khaburoni for that particular appointment. So I, I, I realized along the way that um, I was running a bit late. So I, I sent her a message to tell her, you know what? I think I'm probably going to be 10 minutes late or so, you know, um, please bear with me. But I promise that we are going to finish um, on time, on record time. Perfect. She sounded very, very understanding. Um, I think I'm going to need a color here because this little purple base is not really fully working out for me i need a little bit of orange here okay so i am going to throw in a little bit of this orange i'm probably going to dip my fingers into here again i'm not sure i will see about that so like i said um i updated the client that i was probably going to be uh 10 minutes late or so and she seemed very understanding of my situation perfect so i finally get in town and at this point i think i was by uh ramuzwa ramuzwa no not ramuzwa yes Bwadle, Bwadle, ramuzwa was passing by Bwadle, rather not ramuzwa Bwadle and um I, I sent him a, a message to say hey um i think i'm very close and and i think by this time the time was around 10 minutes before her appointment 10 minutes before her appointment was around nine o'clock and i was like you know what i think i'm probably going to uh, get on record time which is nine o'clock our 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 agreed time agreed appointment time 
So I, I sent a message to say um, you can leave wherever you'll be coming from and head to the office. Chances are we're, we're probably going to meet by the gate. And I mean, I, I was very certain I was going to get there on time because I had realized, for, ah, okay, um, I'm going to be late, but it's not going to be so bad, you know. I, I kind of like um, over or underestimated myself, if I may say. So this lady tells me that, no, no worries. I actually stay close by. Um, it's just the two minutes walk. Um, don't worry, I'll come over. So I was like, okay, no problem. So I finally get to the studio and she was not there. And at this time, the time was around five past nine. She was not there. So I, I, I asked my, my, my assistant to, to, to call her because um, I think I had back to backs, back to back appointments um, that time. So I asked my assistant to, to call her and she arrived around 17 past nine. And 17 past nine is a bit too late for me because I need something around 30 minutes to get to do the eye area. And I just felt, oh my goodness. I, I know I can um, get to make a makeup look under 30 minutes or 45 minutes, but, but I just don't like doing makeup in a rush. That was me in my thinking, in my head. So I was like, you know what? Um, it's okay, I'll, I'll see what to do. So I asked her to come through into the, the studio where we get to sit and start our makeup. So there's one thing about me and my clients. Sometimes I don't quite, um, I don't want to say I don't quite like, I, I just prefer clients who are talkative, interactive, you know. I, this is just me trying to get an understanding of your personality and it also helps me know the kind of makeup look that would suit your personality because some are, 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 are so outspoken and they don't want subtle makeup just for example it's, it's one thing that i've realized over the years so oftentimes i just like a client who is um interactive somebody who, who, who whom i'm able to read um, their personality through conversation so with this particular lady it was just quiet it was quiet and i was like oops okay maybe she's one of those clients who are very quiet let me not bother her um i'm going to move on into my eye makeup and i, I, I i'm planning on doing a cut crease but offline because I keep talking. The more I talk, the more I tend to forget that can I need to do my makeup um, well and I need to finish well on time because I don't want this camera to run for more than um, two minutes because I, I, I keep cutting so that when I get to upload for editing, it doesn't take long. So just give me a, a little moment, a little break for me to cut my crease and then I'll get back to you. All right, I just cut my crease off camera and let me continue. So like I was saying, I, I just could not read her personality. And I was like, you know what, it's okay. I'll respect the fact that um, she seems to be probably a quiet person. Let me not harass her. That's me and my thinking. So I get to do her makeup, um, but we did do a little bit of interaction though. Uh, uh, hold on a minute. You just need to be still for this part. Okay. So we, we, we did a little bit of interaction, but it wasn't um, as much uh, because I was like, okay, okay, let me not bother here. It's okay, it's okay. But I appreciate the little interaction we did um, as I kept applying her makeup. So we normally what I do with clients is that I like to ask every step of the way uh, to try to have an understanding if this is what a client prefers or not. So what I would do is um, I would ask, are your eyebrows fine? Is this the shape that you prefer? Is this the intensity 
of um, the darkness of the pencil that you prefer uh, all of those things I, I i like to take it's that not that i doubt myself it's because i also respect that um clients have preferences so i kept asking her all the way if she preferred my uh, methods of applying or, or rather doing her makeup which is what i normally do with most most clients they can attest to that we get to the final part which is uh the lips and um i i, I ask her which lip color do you prefer and she indicated that she preferred red so the red that i had by then was um maybelline i i i forgot i forgot the the, the name of the shade but it was a red by by maybelline so I, I i got to take that red color and then apply it on her lips and she seemed very happy about her makeup look overall her makeup look so i was like oh okay that's that's fine this is exactly what i want a client who leaves this place happy and satisfied goodies so i get to um, do my next client and i get a call from my assistant that um, the lady who was there previously in that in that moment had called to say she's not happy with her lipstick i was really taken aback because i was like isn't this the same lady who chose the color isn't this the same lady who left the place happy so i was like ah, i don't want to have a bad day what is this now so I, I call her back to say hey hi what's up i heard about your feedback your lipstick feedback blah 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 and she's like can i come over there right now so that you change my lipstick and i'm like um i i, I don't know how i'm going to help you because currently there is a client and um i really don't want to step into her her, her time and session um let me get to ask for permission from my client and then i'll get back to you so this lady, um, the client that I was um, dealing with, uh, gives me the permission to say, no, it's okay, um, you can help her. So when I was about to call her, she calls me back again. And then she tells me that um, she's not pleased with my service. Um, in, in her words, she was saying, uh, I, I, I did not treat her professionally because I should have been quick to say come over let me fix your lipstick but i thoroughly explained to her that i had a client then so i was so confused and she kept on telling me that um right now at the event that she is at which was her event she was telling me that she 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 looks ugly her guests are more beautiful than her um her her guests make she, she was actually indicating that her guests makeup looks makeup look <laughs> her guests makeup look is much more i said right right it's much more better than hers and i was like i'm 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 confused why why do i why am i being com com compared why are you comparing yourself i like like i'm lost i'm i'm, I'm really confused help me out here help me out and she's like i am totally not pleased with your service i would love to come over and query i'm like the only coming over you can do is coming over here so that i change your lipstick because you indicated that you're not happy with your with the lipstick now i'm confused where is all of a sudden that you're not happy with my service coming from i'm, I'm so lost and I, I i go on to tell her you know what come over come over because the last thing that i really want is for a client to see me as unprofessional come over let me help you this particular client has given me permission to help you um if you don't mind come over with the ladies that you feel that makeup is a bit better than yours and let me see what you're talking about can i can and mind you i was i was fuming trust me i was i was so angry so she comes over with a crew of roughly around five ladies or so so these ladies get to sit um, in my reception and 
she comes into my studio where I was with the other client. And then she asks me to say, so are we going to talk about our situation right in front of a stranger? I'm like, I don't see any problem with that. Um, she can even help me uh, verdict your makeup. She can even help me t uh, judge your makeup and very be honest so that I help you. And <laughs> funny enough, she tells me that she's not happy with my savings. She has had a lot of people talking about how good my makeup is, but in actual fact, it's not good. She continues to say, um, there, there, there are upcoming makeup artists who are better than me. And hey, I don't have a problem with that. There are upcoming makeup artists who do a better job than me. She does not even understand why I had to charge 600 bula for that kind of makeup look whilst she can get it for 300 or 200 or less elsewhere. So I was like, ah, woman of God, I, I, I really don't know how to help you now because I thought you came over here because you liked my makeup look. And she's like, yes, I liked your makeup, but um, your makeup is not what it, what it seems on social media. I'm like, I'm lost. <laughs> I don't understand now because anything I put up on social media, I'm very careful about it because that's my name on the line. What are you talking about? And she says, um, all of the makeup looks that I've posted on social media don't look uh, don't look exactly like what she has received. I'm like, can I know you are comparing yourself with other people? You're comparing yourself with other people. How do you expect to get the same makeup look when you're not the same person? Like how? How? And it it was it it was such um, a tense moment. I was fuming. We were shouting. To the top of our voices i mean it it was a whole lot of drama and then i continued to say you know what do not talk to me like that i'm getting pissed do not that 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 was me that has happened Look, I was so angry to the point that I did not even have time to speak English. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> I didn't have that time to speak English. So I was like, get out of my office. Get out. And she's like, why should I leave your office, Ghana? Why should I leave your office? I'm like, you should leave my office because this is my place. Get out of my office. And she's like, you know what? I'm not going to leave your office. If at all the whole world told you that you're the best makeup artist, I'm going to be that one person in your hundred who's going to tell you that your makeup is bad. I was like, oh, I see. I see now that okay no it's it's cool look woman of God can you please sit down let me help you for exactly what you came here for which is your lipstick and then she comes and sits down so while she's sitting down one of the ladies um, because we were we were I think we were quarreling for a good 15 minutes or so so one of the ladies she came with let me finish up here so one of the ladies that she came with came over from the reception to the studio the room where i was doing her makeup and she was so rude she comes to say um you guys have been arguing for long now can we finish this thing and go and i was like can't they, what is what, what what is wrong with today what is wrong <laughs> i ignored that lady because i was like either these ladies are here to fight me or oh, it's just generally a bad day. Oh, maybe Satan is trying me, you know. Maybe Satan is trying me. So she sits down. Um, and the plan was that I wanted to fix her makeup, rather her lipstick. And then she says, I'd love you to fix my, my, my lipstick and then we'll make a way forward from there. We'll see what to do from there. I'm like, there's no seeing what to do. I have another client. I need to fix your lipstick because that's one thing that you indicated that you were not happy with. So, which other thing are you talking about? I, I don't have time to waste here. This lady here has places to go. So I need to finish with you. And she's like, you know what? At this point, I really don't care whether you have the time or you don't. I just want my makeup looking perfect. I'm like, ma'am, you indicated that your lipstick was the one thing that you're not pleased with. I'm here to change your lipstick. Can I please change your lipstick? Here's a bunch of lipsticks. I want you to choose from that, well, from that bunch. And then she goes to choose um, a purple-like lipstick. And I'm thinking to myself, the colors of her outfit 
were totally not matching <laughs> her second choice. So when I was just about to apply the lipstick on her lips, she goes and then just pushes my hand away and then she up and left. And then she called her girls to say, hey, Artsamai, <laughs> let's go, Artsamai. I was so, so, so confused. I was shocked. I was so shocked. I was like, God, this day, no. Mm -mm. This is not a good day, completely. I'm, I'm, I was not happy with her display of behavior. I wasn't. I, I was so shocked. Hey, <laughs> fine, fine. And there I, 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 I go on with my day. Still shocked though. I was, so, I was so shocked. I was like, this lady. What? I had never met a client like that. She was, like I said earlier, I, I did promise that I'm going to use. Sorry, sorry, I had to stop the story. I did promise that I'm going to use this. These are lashes. So uh, these are, I think they're called Scorpion, if I read it well. Scorpion Sting by BH Cosmetics. So they look a bit too dramatic for me, but I'm willing to give it a try. I don't, I don't like dramatic eyelashes. I don't. There's a certain level of drama that I can deal with, but not this kind. Not this kind. Especially not the kind of drama that I'm talking about right now. That kind of drama I cannot deal with again. As well, rather. So um, the day goes by, which is my Saturday. And then I was done with my, my client. Uh, once I finished with my clients. Um, so like I said, the, the, day, the day went by, my Saturday, my sour Saturday, my bitter Saturday. And uh, I, I, I packed my things, went back home to go and vent to my husband, to just tell him the story of the things that I got to go through um, during that day. So I go on and tell my husband and, and he was like, you better be careful of such kind of clients. Clients like that have the potential to post you up on Facebook. Be very careful. You did wrong by reacting, but I understand you're probably in the heat of the moment and I was wrong. I still do admit that I was wrong in so many ways. So I got to say, no, it's okay. We'll get to see how everything else transpires from here. Uh, I'm trying to measure up this lash because I feel it's a bit too long. I think it's fine. Mm. I kind of like the eyelashes though, even though I feel like they're a bit stiff. But it's okay. So I totally did not like how everything transpired in dealing with that lady. I, I regretted every moment. And I kept asking God, why, why, why me? Why did it have to be me? Because Santael, I, 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 I don't deal very well with, uh, such kinds of situations like i'm so horrible i mean i don't even know how to um say whatever i feel properly you know i'm just i'm just so horrible at that horrible i'm such a nice person i don't like noise so i i, I was i was really regretting how um the situation was handled so the following day i i call one of my friends to say hey ma this is what i went through yesterday blah 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 yada 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 I'm, I'm narrating the story to her and then she tells me oh i think now this makes sense and i'm like what makes sense and she's like you know that lady you're talking about i know her she is so and so and so I'm like, is it? 
because it was then then now that I was realizing that okay I know I know her I know this lady and she was like I, I, I once did her makeup and this is my friend telling me I get Ari hold on so I'll be using the Fenty Beauty um, foundation for this look so yeah so my, my, my friend gets to tell me that no I, I, I once did that lady's makeup and she couldn't stop talking about you and other makeup artists that I cannot mention their names here. You and other makeup artists that apparently in, 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 in her describing us, she said, we think we are high-end makeup artists. And I'm like, ooh. I think I'm a high-end makeup artist. I, I did, I've never even identified myself as one. What is she talking about? Apparently, I am too cocky and too full of myself to the point where I just dismiss clients and tell them I'm fully booked. I'm fully booked. I cannot deal with you. I'm fully booked in her describing me. Khati. <laughs> I'm fully booked. Why don't I refer other upcoming makeup artists? And I'm like, look, Santa. No one is my responsibility. Upcoming. No one is my responsibility. If I happen to pass a client to you, it's just me because i probably feel or trust your work or work ethic it has nothing to do with anything there are some makeup artists we are not even friends but i still do pass clients to them because in that moment it's not about you the makeup artist it's about the client i all i need is for that for the client to be well done and happy that's that's all so apparently this lady just had a problem with me always saying i'm fully booked I don't know how that is a problem though so um she goes on to say um did i mention that she said i'm full of myself yeah she said i'm full of myself so when i heard that story that gossip that tea i was like oh okay now this makes sense it's not about me it's not about me it's her but I don't know her. What did I do? I mean, what wrong did I do to her? What wrong did I do to her? Can I? This is me now th really thinking. And I'm like, okay. Uh, um, okay, okay. Jess, stop being hard on yourself. It's not your fault. This lady clearly has got other personal things going on in her head about you. And the most amazing thing was that I, 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 I didn't know her. I don't even know her. We are not even friends at this point in time. So, this lady uh, gets to call me during the day to say, um, can, I, can I please talk to Jessica? And I'm like, it's, it's her speaking, how may I help? And she's like, I'd love to have my money. I'd love to have my refund. All of it, in full. I'm like, I'm lost. I don't understand. She's like, I want all of my money. I'm not happy with how your makeup was looking to the point where when I got to my event I had to wipe it all off start again and you have costed me so much I got late um, to my event the things that I had hired the time had already elapsed I might as well charge you for that I was like is this a demon is this a demon? <laughs> we thought I was so shocked. I was so shocked. I was like, you know what? Of all the other things that you mentioned after refund, those ones are none of my business. I can't help you. And to be very fair and square with you, I do not give out refunds. I've used my products and my time on you. Um, I'm not giving you anything. And she's like, okay, we'll see about that. So normally, uh, when, when I, I, I get to encounter difficult clients, I contact my lawyer. So I contacted my, my lawyer to say, ma'am, this is what I'm going through. 
what do I do in such a situation? And then she tells, she goes on to tell me that, no, you don't necessarily have to refund her. When she first left, she indicated that she was happy with the makeup look. When you tried to help her with her lipstick, she pushed your hand away and up and left. So it's not your problem. You tried to help and then she refused your help. So it's, it's, it's not your issue. So I was like, what do I do in such a situation then? Because I, I don't want to find myself in a case where my name is being dragged on Facebook for things that are not true. Um, and she says, you know what? Don't worry. Give me, give me her number and let me give her a call. So I, I, I give her my number. I mean, I give, I give her her number for, for her to call her. So we get to receive another call again from her. And she was saying she still needs her refund. So I was like, you know what? I can't handle this lady. Because And I don't want to seem as if I'm, I'm, I'm unprofessional. So I asked my husband, baby, can you please talk to that lady? I don't know what to say to that lady. And then she goes on to talk to her. And she was on loudspeaker. So she continues to say, um, Mr. Malefe, you should talk to your wife. You should talk to your wife to learn how to be kind to clients. We have heard a lot about her that she's arrogant and full of herself and I've seen that for myself. I like, we have heard a lot about her. From where? Appa and she, go she goes on to say, apparently she, 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 she generally is selfish and so full of herself to the point that she's not considerate of other people. I'm like, I'm lost. And she narrates a story of something that had happened. So in this story, uh, going back, I go to this particular lady to do um, um, a hairstyle. It was um, an Abdu, an Abdu puff. So the Abdu puff, when I called the lady, she had charged me um, because I sent her pictures over on, 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 on WhatsApp. She charged me something around 400 Buddha for the hairstyle. So I was like, oh, okay, no problem. I'm coming through. Do I need to bring anything? She's like, nope, everything is fixed and supply. I'm like, sure. Khauri, I, I had actually heard about this lady from a client. So that's, wh that's when I, I got to call her. So I go to this lady to get to do my updo. So when I get to this lady, um, she does my hair like normal and everything. And I'm like, when, when everything was done, I'm like, how much is the bill? And she was like, your hairstyle is 950 bula. I'm like, mm -mm, maybe I didn't hear well. I'll ask her again in the next two minutes. So we are busy there laughing about Tzele Tzele. I'm like, yes. So how, how, how much is the hairstyle again? And she's like, no, 950 pool. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, sh what, what should I do? You are let her pay to sell. And I'm here thinking to myself, Eish, I don't want to embarrass myself. People know me. Lest tomorrow I'm on social media, people saying, yay. Hey, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to pay this 950 bucks. <laughs> so I paid to sell the 900. In fact, I e-wallet the 950 pula to her. And she says, please, um, we're going to such and such a place. Are you passing by? And I'm like, sure, sure. But in my head, I'm like, 950 pula Jessica for, 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 for jelly. Powerful. What the hell are you going to tell? How are you going to even narrate the story to your husband? Like how? Like my husband is so, 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 so keen on, on, um, finances because he has this, this thing that sometimes you get overcharged because you are known. <laughs> I did not believe that until it happened to me because what, what he would love to do is that he doesn't fully disclose where he works. He doesn't because there's the stereotype around people working where he's working. So he, 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 he has always felt just people know you do not go around buying things. 
do not go around asking for quotations yourself let me do that for you because they don't know me but this time around i was like nah it's just here i do i don't know obviously i don't need my husband sharp sharp so i get home and i'm so pissed i am pissed at the fact that i paid 950 pula for a disposable hairstyle a hairstyle that I was able to do myself <laughs> so I call my friend to say hey friend please take this picture I wish I could show you I'll, I'll try to look for the conversation I, I don't know if I have the conversation uh, on my phone I, I'll, I'll try to look for it so I say friend please take this picture call rather WhatsApp this number and ask them um, um, the price for this kind of hairstyle so he does so he does so because he was pretending to be a lady he does so and then the lady tells him that the hairstyle is 450 pula i'm like why am i charged 950 kanti why ah so i was like i'm going there in the morning and I'm taking my other friend who's able to fight because now I don't know how to fight. Not fight, fight, fist, you know, like talk. So early in the morning, I, 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 I wake up and the first thing in my mind is to go to that lady and really get to inquire about the price. So I didn't find her. I waited for her. I waited. So when she arrived, I asked her, so tell me, do you have a rate card? Again, I'm asking her. And she tells me, um, Sorry, I ran out of memory. I don't even know where I was before that happened. So I asked this lady, Jorge, um, does she have a red card? And she tells me that she doesn't have a red card. What she normally does, she just tells, uh, uh, she has a red card. What she normally does is that she just tells clients about her prices. She doesn't send the red card. Come on, why are you not sending the red card? Because right now I feel like I've been cheated on. Why, why am I charged 900 for a hairstyle that um, at first you told me that it was 400 and now I had sent a friend of mine to ask you about the price and you told you, you told the same person still that the, 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 the hairstyle was around 400 or so and she's like no I'm, I'm, I'm really very sorry I'm sorry um, normally it's because your, your, the, the hair that you had used was very expensive can, can, can I please have the receipts of, of of the hair that you are you're claiming that it was expensive what kind of hair is it wa 500 pula i'm lost i'm really lost what what kind of hair is it? no it's synthetic it's synthetic hair a, a weft for nine for 500 pula uh -uh. something is fishy something is off tell me the truth tell me the truth and she's like no i'm very sorry i'm very sorry um what i can try to do let me let me refund you the money because i was, I was really telling her, you know i'll take you to the police i'll really take you to the police because what you did is not fair she's like no my my sister don't do that i'm really very sorry uh please well i was actually um threatening her I'm not like that. It's just that I was pissed. I wanted to get to the bottom of, of, of why I was charged 950 Buddha. So she went on and refunded me the, the 500. So this lady was now talking to my husband over the phone to say, um, you should teach your husband how to treat other people. She went to one of my friends and asked for her refund back. So I'm, 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 I'm saying to her today that Leah and it's payback time. I'm like all this while I've been saddened by the fact that I had a toxic client can it's not about me it's not about me this lady clearly had whatever she had in her mind just to really get to me or who's this Jessica Molefe of, 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 of yours I'm going to deal with that lady for you so I was like oh this is me having a revelation of exactly what was happening i was like oh okay i see this is not about me this is not about me oh oh okay that's it game on so my lawyer calls her to say hey ma client that i miss a mama and say mama is um not happy about 
um, what you're doing, what you say, you are in essence harassing her. And uh, this is the feedback I got from my lawyer, and she said, um, this 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 lady, Masiho, in quotes. I don't even know what I called it at first when I started the video. She said, no, I'm not planning on 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 harassing her. All I really wanted was my 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 money back because I was not happy with her her services. Um, and also, I understand she's probably scared that I'm going to take her to Facebook. No, I don't do that anymore. I'm not going to do that. All I want from her is my money back. And I was like, you know what? I'm not giving that lady her money back. I'm not. After the things she said about me, I'm not giving her her money back. I'm not. But while I was just thinking about the issue, ah. I just felt like, you know what, ah, give it back, it's not worth it, give it back, I hate fights with all of my heart, so I called her to say, that I tried to call her and I, I, I got to figure out that she had blocked my, my business line, so I called her with um, my husband's number to say, hey ma, um, where should I send back your money? And she said, oh, hi, Jessie. Um, you can just pay to sell it to this number. I'm like, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I was so pissed. I was so angry. Because sometimes you'd, you'd, you'd really meet people in life and you would think the reason why they're mistreating you is because it's you. Well, it's not really you. It's them projecting either their fears or disappointments or insecurities on you. Sometimes that's one thing I really got to, rea to, to realize out of this story. Because if there's one thing about me, I take pride in my job so much. I really do. I really do. Oh, come on. It's a stain. Why did I, why did I touch my sleeve? Ugh. I'll see how to fix that. So I, I take pride in my job so much. I really, really do. I hate shortcuts with all of my heart. I hate shortcuts. I would do my best, go as far as I don't know to make sure that a client is happy. That is me. If it means keeping a face, I'll keep a face. But I'll do my best to make sure that my clients are happy. But this one particular lady just made me feel like I was such a horrible makeup artist. I've, I, like, I, I really felt that way. But it's um, later on, uh, when, when, when I got to realize that, no, 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 no. Stop being hard on yourself. It's not your fault. It's, it's, it's not about you. It's about her. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. So one thing that I really got to realize out of this story was that, you know, I came to the realization that honestly, I, 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 I don't have the ability to please everyone. And um, I, I really came to terms with the fact that I'm going to meet um, such kind of characters as I grow in the industry. She was my first client. She was the first, my first ever client to behave in the manner that she behaved in. So much as it was a horrible experience, I really got to learn um, from it. San Clahel, it really strengthened, um, it, it helped me be able to fortify my business legally 
I got to write um, or, or I, I, I got to edit up a lot of terms and conditions when coming over to do my makeup because chances are it was probably going to be a trend for people to come over there and say they're not happy with their makeup look give me back my money you know are people like that people can be poisonous eh? so that taught me a very great lesson to really kind of like legally fortify my business so yeah we are almost close to done with the makeup look and i'll be using laura messier translucent powder in the color medium deep yes medium deep so um, why is it not focusing yes something like that so this is the translucent powder i will be using And we are done with our makeup look and stories. <laughs> we are done, we are done. I cannot remember the last time I applied a purple lipstick. Back in the days when I was um, getting into this whole makeup thing, purple was my go-to lipstick. It was my go-to. I'm back again on this purple roll. Back again! I love it, I love it. So, I'm done. I feel hot. You know what I'm saying? I feel cute. I look cute above everything else. So we are done with our makeup look. We are done with our stories. And I'll definitely see you next week again with yet another story. No, I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe yet another story. Maybe another tutorial. Maybe a vlog. I don't know but look i just want to do me be me whatever comes to my mind i'm just going to get in the office and do it that's just me this season so i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram bye, -bye.